Hi there, I'm going to show you how to play Jamming by Bob Marley. The song has four chords, B minor, E7, G and F sharp minor. And the rhythm part is, it's got a nice sort of swing to it. So I'm going to start on the B minor. We're jamming down up, down up, down up, down up. With your rhythm hand, so you're just going down up, down up, down up. And to dampen the strings, if you take your chord hand off the fretboard just for a moment and that helps to kill the strings down or you can use the palm of your hand as well and the song starts on B minor we're jamming and then it goes to E7 and then G to F sharp minor B minor E7 F sharp minor, then the verse bit goes B minor, E7, B minor, E7, G, F sharp minor, B minor, E7, B minor, E7, G, F sharp minor, and then back into the chorus bit with German, which is B minor, E7. And then there's like a middle eight bit which goes Holy Monsion. And to do that, it's just e, B minor. Holy Monsion. E minor. Zion. Holy Monsion. Staying on the B minor. So we're just going to try it from the top. Oh yeah, we're jamming. I want to jam it with you. We're jamming, jamming. And I hope you like jamming too. Ain't no rules, ain't no fun. We can do it anyhow. I never see you
play these chords, B minor is a type of a bar chord, and you just take your first finger and put it on the second fret, starting on the A string, so the string here, <clears throat> and barring all of those strings, and then take your second finger and put it on the third fret of the B string, and your fourth finger goes on the fourth fret of the G string, and then your third finger above that on the fourth fret of the D string. And you play B minor, you've got to press really hard, and then E7, it's a nice easy chord, you just take your first finger on the first fret of the G string, and then your second finger on the second fret of the A string, and you play all the six strings, and that's E7, and G, you can play with your third finger on the third fret of the bottom E string, your second finger on the second fret of the A string, and then your fourth finger on the third fret of the top E string. You play all the six strings, and that's G. Sometimes I like to play it like this as well, which um, is a type of a bar chord, but without barring it, you play it like this. So you take your first finger and put it on the third fret of the top E string and the top and the B string. You play the two strings together on the third fret, and then your second finger on the fourth fret of the G string. And your fourth finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and then your third finger above that on the fifth fret of the A string. And you can play all those five strings there, and it's G. And if you can, if you can reach your thumb onto the third fret of the bottom E, then that's brilliant. And you play all the six strings, and that gives you the chord of G. It's another way to play G, or you can play it like this as a bar chord. So you take your first finger and you bar all the six strings on the third fret there, then your second finger on the fourth fret of the G string, your fourth finger on the fifth fret of the D string, and your third finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And that gives you the bar chord of G. Moving on to the next chord, which is F sharp minor, you can play it like this or like this. So to play it as a bar chord, you take your first finger on the second fret of all of the strings, press really hard, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and your fourth finger below that on the fourth fret of the D string. And that's F sharp minor. If you want to play F sharp minor seven, you just take your fourth finger off and you just press in on the fourth fret there on the A string, and that's F sharp minor seven. And those are the chords uh, for jamming. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this as well before I go. The first finger. Another way to play F sharp minor, you can play it like that or you can play it like this, which you take your first finger and bar the G string, the B string and the E string on the second fret. Okay. And then you take your fourth finger and put it on the fourth fret of the D string. And then your third finger above that on the fourth fret of the A string. That gives you F sharp minor. And if you can stretch your thumb and put it onto the second fret of the bottom E string, then you can play all six strings. That's another way to play F sharp minor. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.